Hello everyone, here we have the example for the topic differentiation. A curve is given by the parametric equation x is equal to t minus 1 over t, y is equal to t plus 1 over t. Find the dy dx and the second derivative in terms of t. Obtain the coordinates of the stationary points of the curve and determine the nature of the point. So in here, we have two parts. Kindly focus on part A. So given the situation, x is equal to t minus t to the power of negative 1. y is equal to t plus t to the power of negative 1. Kindly differentiate x with respect to t. So we will have dx dt equals to 1. Differentiate the situation and we will have plus t to the power of negative 2. Rewrite the situation and we will have dx dt equals to 1 plus 1 over t squared. Kindly equate the denominator. So we will have dx dt equals to t squared plus 1 over t squared. Next, focus on the y. Differentiate the y with respect to t and we will have dy dt equals to 1 minus t to the power negative 2. Rewrite the situation. So dy dt equals to 1 minus 1 over t squared. Can we equate the denominator and we will have dy dt is equal to t squared minus 1 over t squared. Next, we are going to find the dy dx. So given the formula, dy dx is equal to dy dt multiplied with dt dx. Kindly focus on this part. Do remember to flip the situation and we will have dy dx is equal to t squared minus 1 over t squared multiply with t squared over t squared plus 1. If we simplify the situation and we will obtain dy dx is equal to t squared minus 1 over t squared plus 1. Kindly refers to the degree of the situation and we notice that it is improper fraction. So, using the long division to propel the situation. So, where we will have t squared minus 1, divisor will be t squared plus 1. So, we will have 1, so t squared plus 1. Simplify the situation and we will have negative 2. Kindly rewrite the situation where dy dx is equal to 1 minus 2 over t squared plus 1. So now we are going to find the second derivative. Kindly refers to the dy dx. Rewrite the situation. So where we have dy dx is equal to 1 minus 2 bracket t squared plus 1 to the power of negative 1. So before we further our discussion, kindly write the formula for the second derivative for the parametric differentiation. So the formula for the second derivative would be second derivative is equal to differentiate the dy dx with respect to t. Multiply with dt dx. So next we are going to differentiate the dy dx. So meaning that the second derivative is equal to differentiate the dy dx where we have 1 minus 2 bracket t squared plus 1 to the power of negative 1 with respect to t. Multiply with dt dx where we have t squared over t squared plus 1. 
so differentiate the situation and we will have 0 so negative 1 multiply with negative 2 and we will have 2 bracket t squared plus 1 to the power of negative 2 do remember to differentiate the internal function and we will have 2t multiply with t squared over t squared plus 1 simplify the situation and we will have the second derivative is equals to 4 t cubed over t squared plus 1 to the power of 3 rewrite the situation where we have the second derivative is equals to 4 bracket t over t squared plus 1 to the power of 3 so that is the situation for the first derivative and the second derivative in terms of t so now we are going to discuss the question b obtains the coordinates of the stationary point where we have dy dx is equal to 0 of a curve and determine the nature of the point refers to this part where we have the dy dx is equal to 0 so kindly substitute the situation so and we will have 0 equals to 1 minus 2 over t squared plus 1 rearrange the situation so where we have 2 over t squared plus 1 equals to 1 cross multiply the situation and we will have 2 is equals to t squared plus 1 finally t squared minus 1 is equals to 0 factorize the situation where we have t minus 1 t plus 1 equals to 0 so the value of t will be equals to 1 the value of t will be equals to negative 1 now we are going to determine the nature of the point for t equals to 1 and t equals to negative 1 so kindly substitute the situation into the second derivative so when t is equals to 1 the value for the second derivative will be equals to 4 multiply with 1 over 1 plus 1 cube so the value for the second derivative will be equals to 4 multiply with 1 over 8 so finally we will have 1 over 2 for the second derivative when t is equals to 1 next Kindly substitute the situation when t equals to negative 1. So the value for the second derivative will be equals to 4 bracket negative 1 over 1 plus 1 to the power of 3. And we will obtain the value for the second derivative is equals to 4 bracket negative 1 over 8. So finally, the value for the second derivative is equal to negative 1 over 2. Kindly refers to the situation if it is greater than 0, meaning that the value of t is minimum. If the situation is less than 0, so the value of t is equal to negative 1 would be the maximum. Kali refers to the situation and we are going to find the point. So meaning that when t is equals to 1 and x will be equals to 1 minus 1. So x will be equals to 0 and the value of y will be equals to 1 plus 1. So where y is equals to 2. So the coordinate will be 0, 2. The situation for t is equal to negative 1 and we will have x is equal to negative 1 plus 1. So 
x will be equals to 0, y will be equals to negative 1, negative 1. So y will be equals to negative 2. So meaning that the point will be 0, negative 2. So the nature of the point is 0, 2 is a minimum point. And for 0, negative 2, it is a maximum point. So here we are. And thanks for watching.